Hello and welcome to the workshop. I'd taken a few weeks off uh, after the new year and didn't uh, really film any projects, but uh, now that uh, we're midway through January or almost through January, decided that I uh, wanted to uh, get back into doing some of these projects. Now, as you can see, I'm not in the typical workshop. I am in the basement because it has been cold in the workshop. So I've moved downstairs here to, to, to really get away from the cold and uh, do some of these projects that I can still do indoors. So today's project is a sign uh, that we were gifted. It's a sign that is a, a tribute to a uh, little shop of horrors. Um, and with this sign, I think we wanted to make it into a clock. So I picked up a uh, simple time mechanism uh, for doing this. And uh, I think we decided on some very simple hands for the minute, hour, and go with uh, second hand on this clock. So I'm going to slide these off to the side here. Now, one of the things I do, I do almost annoy some, you know, annoyed sometimes by having to set clocks. If only there was a way that we could have clocks that set themselves. Well, it turns out there is. And it was developed nearly 60 years ago, uh, on January 4th. 1963, uh, the National Institute of Science and Technology uh, has a transmitter in Colorado operating at about, uh, I think, 60 kilohertz that transmits time nationwide, uh, WWVB. And say so it's been around 60 years now, and I'm actually surprised that more clocks today don't utilize that. Um, now I know analog clocks are, are a dying breed, but uh, I still enjoy using them and still enjoy viewing them. So that's what this receiver is. Uh, this clock will pick up that signal and should automatically set itself. So we're going to uh, I'm going to film that while it, uh, while it sets itself. See how that works. If this works out fairly well, I may replace some of our other clock mechanisms. Uh, around the house with this one that automatically sets. So this is uh, both a project to build this and a project to experiment with this uh, this module. So fairly easy, you just need to find the center and put a hole through it. And then this kit has washers and nuts with it. along with that. So, clock mechanism, nut, washer, kind of a soft rubber washer, backer, and then the hanging clip. All right, easy enough. Let's, uh, let's try to find that center and figure out where uh, 12 o'clock is on this. So, if I figure this out correctly, I will draw two lines and give it a nice even number here. So I'm going to say eight inches. I'm going to draw eight inches across. I'm going to mark the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double checking. I'm going to mark the four inch middle. And then I will rotate it around there and really do the same. So I'm looking at eight inches and really I just want the midpoint on these lines. Four inches there. And then I will take let's see, let's do it. We'll take that midpoint. 
draw line. And then where these two intersect should be the middle. Okay. But how wide is this? This is actually right about 12 inches. So it's showing right at about a six inch location. A little under six inches. Let me check this side. A little under six inches. Perfect. I'm going to go with that as good enough. Uh, let's see, I need to transfer. So this, um, this material is like a it's more of a plastic, kind of a foam core plastic. I'm trying to decide whether I should drill it or punch it. I think I like the clean edge of punching it. So I'm going to find a punch here that is going to work. Big are we talking? It's a little over a quarter of an inch. That's probably in metric. It's almost, I would almost wager that it is five sixteenths. Let's see what punches we have. something about five sixteenths. So that one is five sixteenths. It's the next size down. Quarter of an inch. Yeah, I don't think quarter of an inch is going to go. Let's go five sixteenths. All right. Five sixteenths edge. I need a nail. No, I don't think I want to hammer on this uh, this folding table, so I'm going to go step over there to the floor and punch this hole. So the pin that I used, just uh, the nail that I used, just to put a center hole in, uh, went through very nicely. I think I will use the center punch there on that. That's going to go right in the center. Uh, we should probably go ahead and think about what is 12 o'clock. So I'm going to mark 12 o'clock here on the top edge, maybe right about there. Just give it a little mark. Going off the uh, plant base as a reference. And yeah, I can, I can see that up on top there. Just ever so barely to the left of it, between the S and the H. All right. All right, back to the floor to punch this hole. Okay, that punched through the front side very nicely. Well, the camera card filled up, so uh, I had to go back and uh, Clear some of that off and then I realized that uh, it, I was filming in the wrong mode or something and the the focus was not great so back now better focus you can see this much better you can see what I'm working with yeah the, uh, the time box and hands and finish punching out this center hole so the Punch, got through the top layers, uh, got a pretty decent hole. I punched it twice and it's got a little oblong guide a little bit there. But uh, I'm going to lightly tap it from behind here to, to open up that back. Of course, easier said than done. That did not work out great. Uh, how about we just use a knife here? Down here in the basement, so... Uh, 
without running upstairs to the, to the workshop to grab more tools. I will make do with what I have handy. I'm really just trying to follow the contour of the uh, that the punch did. Now the uh, the nut will cover up some of our sins. All right, returned with an exacto knife. All right. In hindsight, a drill would have probably have been a better way to go. Well, the draw is worried about it really chipping out or whatever this material would do and not give a clean hole. In which case now I'm just digging out the hole. Gonna go with that. All right, let's see. Let's take this and up. You're going to need to attach the clip, I believe, first. So the clip goes like that. Perfect. The washer goes on top. Top. Do we think the bleed? There's a little bit of a step in the washer. I am going to think. I think the D10 goes up. Yeah, I'm gonna go with D10 up. All right, in the hole, a little large, but we will tighten that down, and that washer will hide that horrible hole that I made. I will do is I'm going to mark on the back side the 12 o'clock position. That way I can line up that hook. So I know my 12 o'clock position. I put a mark here. 
transfer that over. And then we'll estimate the center of the hole. Okay. Let's do this again. That piece. Uh, which is right side up. Other way. Battery pack goes down. And the words are up. Yep. Okay. There. And there. And nut on. Snug enough. Okay. And now the hour hand goes on. Uh, it is a friction fit. Okay. Try to get this done it correctly the first time. Film. There's a film on the um, the painted surfaces. I think I'll try to peel that off after the fact. I don't know if you're sure that's a good idea or not, but we shall see. Down in the middle. I don't think that's on all the way. Eh, maybe it is. All right. Let's see. Instructions now are to pull out this alignment pin and insert a battery. So I'll pull you out and we'll insert a battery and film it while it sets itself. Let's see, I also want to actually, I want to set the uh, times it has the different time zones <clears throat> I can turn on daylight savings time and then we can also manually set the time as well all right let's get it moved around we will use Boba Fett there as a reference he might be a little bit off. All right. It is setting itself, I think, already. Let's take a look here. It's going to do the sweep. It is currently 11. 
4135 at night, so it's got to go around quite a lot. As much as uh, I enjoy watching paint dry, uh, and it said it's time, I might uh, might have to actually speed up the video here a little bit. All right, after a few minutes here, it, uh, it started again. It said it might take up to 15 minutes before it uh, receives the signal. We are in the basement, so I'm wondering if the signal isn't as strong. I mean, we're, we're in the basement in the eastern U.S. Uh, WWVB is broadcasting from, I think, Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, so the signal here may not be, may not be as strong. Uh, we're also facing southeast um, well the clocks facing southeast or at least the side of the house is that southeastern side so we'll see if it sets here uh, 1142 give it a couple minutes yeah of course the battery died as we were setting this luckily I had a spare one handy and uh, hopefully we're gonna catch it here when it stops on 1140 See, probably about 11.45-ish. Coming up on the uh, 9 o'clock now. Here we go. 11 o'clock. And hopefully it will set itself 11.45. I am going to go that for the win. So, adding a automatic uh, time setting clock uh, using the WWVB signal, um, it's it fairly easy to do. Punch the hole, install the mechanism, and wait for it to sync. Thanks for joining me tonight uh, on the workshop channel. And if you enjoyed what you see, please pr press the thumbs up. If you want to see more content of projects that I do around the house, please uh, subscribe to the channel. And as always, if you have any questions or comments, uh, leave those in the comments as well. Thank you and have a wonderful night.